Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today I was very lucky to get to see Marcel um, and his record breaking bike. So starting from the front we've got some custom spaces here um, to sort of point up. These look like they've been uh, sort of machined down um, using some zip pads there and some uh, carbon unbranded extensions there. All the buttons on here are custom made using speaker wire uh, which is really cool. I'll go into more in depth about that when I was talking to uh, Marcel's mechanic yesterday. Uh, front end super clean, super tidy, all holes taped up where they need to be. The grips on the brake lever are actually uh, inner tubes. Um, so they cover the but there's buttons underneath there on the brake levers. Moving down, a very unique frame design. I've never seen one of these in the flesh before. That little panel there, inside there is the ETAP junction box with all the custom wiring, which again I'll show you later on. Moving down, he didn't have his big 70 tooth on that, um, yesterday, uh, today, sorry. Um, he had a 56 on there for training with the front mech a quark power meter and also Garmin vector pedal so he's trying to calibrate both very basic sort of rear end there but the covering here super tight clearances for a 23 um, actually no 25 sorry he's using here very tight clearances though apparently the brakes are one of the easiest to set up according to the mechanic moving up we've got the seat post area with a pro tt saddle on it which looks pretty interesting not one i've seen before but if we look at the front end here how close and clean that setup is no cables visible all customized at the front um, but super close and narrow he was in basically to have a bike fit and us to help him um, drop even more time off the 25 record he thinks about 30 seconds is still to come from that there here we just did a quick video on explaining the buttons here so these are these little little um, two pound buttons with speaker wire all they're going down just neatly held in there and then, uh, so this is uh, his mechanic pulling out for me to have a look at all the cabling and stuff he's done. Basically, this is the DI2 battery holder for inside the frame, which I didn't know was even in there. Again, I I haven't seen a Pinarelli one of these in the flesh, so this is all very first to me. But he's managed to custom make a bracket where the ETAP junction box sits, and that sits inside the frame. What they found then though was that the blips and click cables weren't long enough because it's about a thousand mil to the brake levers and then twelve hundred mil to the extensions, and the longest that SRAM supply is um, eight fifty. So he's used custom speaker wire, custom little buttons, which is why I showed you in the video just before, and even the extension ones are custom clicks, and they cost to make overall apparently for each all the levers to have shift buttons about five pound um, which is incredible since that the clicks themselves are like 110 and the blips are 85 so much cheaper way of doing it, it looks much cleaner as well um, but a lot of engineering has gone into this this is sort of the difference first time I've actually been able to have a proper close look at a pros kind of setup bike by uh, a mechanic and it was just an epic experience really to have a have a chat to them see what they've done see what the customization is on there and the level of detail like cleaning up using this photo here you can see how clean that the taping is on some of the bolt cage mounts or some of the holes that are there um, it's just incredible overall to get that experience and finally we're going to look at this, the front end a little bit closer here so this is um, Marsen's front end um, done by his mechanics so it's again custom spaces apparently using titanium bolts in there as well to bring the weight down the frame um, on the bike sorry this is one of the lightest TT bikes I've ever picked up in my life. Like, I thought my P5 was light. This is incredible. I've, I've picked up some Argons and stuff. Yeah, this is way lighter, but the frame costs a lot more, so you'd expect that. Um, he's got these sort of custom molded areas um, for sort of tilting the bar up, and uh, they allow him to give a bit more of a tuck position. After the fit, we've um, actually bought these up another 5mm. Um, and the, but then we've stretched them out a fair bit as well so this setup will change a bit I've already um, had permission so when he's racing next to do another video of his bike when it's fully race set up um, because this is obviously more it's training set up but how narrow the pads are and everything it's just such an amazing position and it's, it's such an amazing opportunity to get to talk to him get to talk to his mechanic get to see the bike and and I can't uh, thank Marcel enough for that so Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe, comment, like, and I will catch you guys later on for more content. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.